Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Check that everything is just right in your room, the lights, your bed, your PJs. You're ready to relax and be quiet and still and listen to the story. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were all waiting at the start line. They had signed themselves up for a charity run, a 5k run. It was Heidi's idea. She'd been doing some research on how they could be more effective in the community as far as volunteering their time or donations or just doing something for a good worthy cause. She thought it would be really good for Cherry and Vea to understand the principle of helping others in need in whatever way you can. The 5K run was an evening run because it was a glow-in-the-dark run, but she didn't tell Cherry or Vea about that. She wanted to surprise them. Cherry said, Remind me again? Why are we here? And why is he dark? You would think that all these people coming out to do a, a run at night was a little bit weird, don't you think? I mean, I thought everybody just kind of like ran in the daytime or something. I think it's really, 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 really strange. Don't you, Vaya? Think it's really, 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 really strange that we won't be going to do a, a 5K run. What is a 5K run anyway? Heidi said, well, I think it's, I think, I'm not sure, but I think it's like three point something miles. Oh, thank gosh for that, said Cherry, because I thought we were having to run like five, five, uh, five million miles or something, because 5K, oh, like 5,000, you know, you never know, because I wasn't sure what it meant. Did you know, Vaya? Vaya didn't know either. She just shook her head like, no, she didn't know. Vaya was looking exceptionally princess-like for the run. She decided that some kind of outfit, like Princess Jasmine's with pants, would be much more appropriate for the run. Her pants were pink and they had purple sequins on. She had a purple belly top and like a little purple hat with a veil on it. She looked wonderful. Vea was more interested in what her veil would do as it swished in the wind when she ran than why they were actually there, but she was trying to pay attention. Me thinks this is a very nice idea, said Vea. Me thinks it's really nice to help other people. That's why we're here, right, ID? We're here because we're trying to help other people, yes? What people are we helping exactly? Heidi looked at Vea and Cherry and said, don't you remember me telling you? I told you all about it. We're doing this run because we're raising money for children in need. What do they need? said Cherry. Well, that depends, right? They need all sorts of things. Some children need clothing. Some children need food. Some children need a place to live. It could be all sorts of things. Oh, said Cherry. You mean, you mean like some, some children don't have anywhere to live? Like, 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 literally, like, like they don't, they don't have a house or a, a flat or something. Heidi shook her head. No, some children are really, really in need. And that's why we're doing our part. We're doing our part in the community to raise money for children in need, right? Right! said Cherry. I'm all excited now. Now I know why I'm doing it. Now I know more about the purpose. Don't you agree, Vaya? Vaya said, me, me agree. Yes, we both agree that we think that, that this is an awesome idea and we're ready. We're ready. Is everybody ready? And a couple of people behind and around Cherry said, we're ready. We're ready. And then all of a sudden there was a big bang as if someone fired a gun, but it wasn't literally a real gun. It was just a starter gun and it banged really loud and then all of a sudden all of the people started running forward 
Heidi, Cherry and Vea didn't know where they were going, so they just followed everybody else. At first, people started to run quite casually. Some people walked. It was, you know, people were still chatting and talking. Some people were way, way, way back in the crowd and they had no choice but to just walk and wait till everybody started moving forward. But sooner or later, the race kicked in and got going. And that's when Cherry got tired. <laughs> how long is, how long have we been running? Heidi said, I think we've done half a mile. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I think I'm really out of shape. I think I really, really need some help. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh gosh, this is really hard. Vea was having a whale of a time. She was just watching and shaking her head from side to side and watching her veil blowing in the wind and her little pants were made out of this very thin net and they were swishing and moving when she was running and she was really happy. She didn't even notice anything really about the race, just that she looked awesome as a princess, Jasmine. And Cherry, Cherry was just, yeah, well, she was just being Cherry. <laughs> oh, how long more? How long? How long do you think we've got? Oh, well, said Heidi, if we've done half a mile and it's three point whatever miles, then we've at least got another two and a half point whatever miles, Cherry. So you best just buckle up and keep running. Remind me again why I'm doing this. Remind me again. I need some inspo. I need some inspo. I need I need to feel more inspired because I'm so tired I could just quit. I could just quit right now because this is so hard. Heidi said, remember, the children were doing this to raise money for the children. Some children don't have any supplies at school. Some children can't afford a school uniform. Some children don't even get to go to school, depending on where they live in the world. Some children just don't even know where their next meal is coming from. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's my inspo. That's it. That's it right there. I can see it. I can see all the little children getting like cupcakes and, and uh, nice things to eat after we've done this run because this is, that's so sad. It's so sad. Okay, I can do it. I can do it. They got to the mile mark and all this stuff started to happen. People that were working, that were connected to the run, started throwing big bags of powder all over the place. Cherry and Veya panicked. Oh, me don't like that. Me don't like what are they doing. They, oh, they're going to ruin my princess outfit. Oh, me don't like this. Me don't like this. Heidi said, it's okay. It's okay. It's part of the fun. This is a glow in the dark run. That means if we get that powder all over us, we'll glow in the dark. OMG, said Cherry. That's absolutely awesome. I want some powder. And she went running under the big puffs and clouds of different colored paint powder that were landing all over her and she was starting to look like a rainbow cat. Veya was still not happy. No, no, no. Uh, uh, me say no, no, no to that. I'm going to try and just run around the crowd and on the outside and, and I'll find you, I'll find you on the other side because me don't want to go in the dark. Me just wants to look like this, like this, just nice, like this. And she looked down at her outfit and moved one of her paws over her body as if to say, look, look at me, look how nice I look. I don't want to get ruined by those silly paints. Heidi said, okay, we'll meet you on the other side. Cherry was running around like a crazed cat, trying to jump and dive into the air, dive underneath all of the different moves that she could possibly do to get paint all over her. And she was very successful. She was bright green, bright yellow, bright blue, bright pink, bright purple. She looked amazing. I love it. I love it. Look at me. I look like an actual rainbow. I look so awesome. All right. All right. Come on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's run for those kids. Let's run for those babies. Let's run for those cupcakes. Let's do it. Running, running, running. She kept running. 
They got to the two-point mile and once again everybody was in celebration throwing up the powder and the paint and everybody was laughing and everybody was laughing at each other because they all looked so silly and there, there was music blaring out and people started to dance as they run. It was such an awesome atmosphere. Cherry was loving it. This is like the bestest, bestest thing you've ever thought of, Heidi. Why haven't you thought of this before? We're having so much fun. So much fun. Mm, so much fun and we're Maisie Bunny and we're doing something awesome for our community and the kids and all the, the things that the kiddies need. Look at us, we're so great. Come on, let's do it. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done, she said as she jumped and ran and carried on running. They finished the race. Vea successfully managed to not get one single, single splash of powder or paint or anything on her. She still looked absolutely pristine and perfect in her jasmine princess outfit. Cherry had got so much powder and paint and different colours all over her that it had kind of got matted and wet and because the run was very hard and she had got very sweaty and but she didn't notice and she didn't care and she was still very, very happy. But she really didn't look like a rainbow anymore. She just looked like one big wet mess of paint. Heidi smiled and laughed at both of them. They all did high fives. They were all very proud of themselves, doing something so good like that. Raising money for the children in need, helping their community, finding a way to be of service in some way. Sometimes it's just volunteering at the church. Sometimes it's just doing some kind of community work. Sometimes it's giving money if you can. Sometimes it's giving your time. Whatever it takes. Heidi, Cherry and Vreya had accomplished something and Heidi was very happy. She was very proud of her sisters because her sisters had started to understand the value of giving not just receiving all the time. Giving was very important and it also felt very nice. They went home to bed that night and they slept so good. They snuggled in their cat bed, all intertwined with each other. Cherry obviously had had a very good bath. She was all clean and smelled all nice and fresh. They all closed their eyes and relaxed. The little paws got heavy. Their legs, their bodies. It didn't take too long before they were all having sweet, sweet dreams.